Tamar Valley. A change of plans had its heading kind of northeast Tasmania instead of the west where we had planned. The weather's still bad here, but you can see things, so that's good. And we've started out in Beaconsfield. Beaconsfield is kind of famous because of a couple of miners who got stuck in a mine a few years ago, quite a few years ago now. Where does the time go? 2006, was it? Was it? It could have been 2006. It was we'll look it up and fact check for you. Beaconsfield was famous for gold mining and right here in the town of Beaconsfield we have the original gold mine shaft. Uh, it was actually abandoned in 1914 and then it collapsed in 1919 and they have kind of restored it now and made it into a bit of a mine experience. We don't have time to do the mine experience today but you can see all of the impressive old mine shaft buildings here without going inside. And there are some informational signs as well and a bit of a walk around town I believe to give you some information about the whole gold mining history here in Beaconsfield. But right now we haven't had breakfast yet so I think we might head to the Miner's Gold Brew Pub. Gold Brewing next to the Heritage Centre here in Beaconsfield. Delicious steak sanger and the beer. I only got this fella here. The, the stout, the extra stout. It's the best one I've had. It's the best one I've had. I love it. But once we were able to order the same thing. Dana got a steak sandwich as well on gluten free bread. I'm sure it'll be as good as mine. So good. Now, Dana, did you know this place existed? The things you find when you're looking for a public toilet in Beaconsfield. by the seat of our pants a little more than usual since this was a last minute change of plans but we've decided given the persistent rainy weather it's a good time to be indoors so we're gonna head down to a winery. You. Yeah, the whites are good. The Riesling was like really, um, it's green apple in the smell, as you'd expect. And then like acid and tartiness and just, yeah, it's nice. But the, um, the Arne was, was, was the interesting one. That was a wild fermentation wine. Doesn't, doesn't do the green apple smell, the sweet green apple smell of the Riesling. Very nice. From someone who enjoys beer and other things. It's a, it's a food wine and it even tastes like it's got traces of food in it, like cheese and the aftertaste is the, um, the food, random foods left on the tongue. What was the other one we got? Chardonnay. This is the one where I was like, I wanted to know what a Chardonnay is like. How's it differ? Oh, it's almost got a sweet cola candy fizz going on there. <laughs> I like that. those little Coke candy lollies. It smells like that. Hmm. Okay, so Chardonnay is the fullest of the whites. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, I'm already a convert to Chardonnay. Full body white, hey? I like that. That's great. Oh no, he's gone to the white side. Oh no, now we've got to, now we've got to buy Chardonnays. The red as the fourth wine. Yeah, what did we pick? We picked a 50-50 Shiraz Pinot Noir blend. Oh man, that is fruity. Uh, uh, this is delicious. I haven't tasted it yet, but those dark fruits, the currants and not so much raisins. Okay, those, 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 the, the smell is not, not in the taste so much. A light taste, easy going. That smell is out of this world. Well done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I promised that I would just pick my favorite red to talk about and well, Picking a favourites turned out to be more difficult, but this one's definitely the most different. This one randomly smells like flowers. The rest of them don't. And I can even taste a bit of flower in it too. Mm. 
predictably the one I've chosen is a cab sap and well if you've been watching us for a while you know that my favorite is cab sap so I guess it's not really a surprise that we ended yeah. up here is it? <laughs> I was gonna say your partial to cab sap <laughs> and we need to be on the hunt for these glasses. Mm, how good are they? They're huge! After our homework tasting yesterday, we went and did another tasting at Delamere. It's geographically outside of the Tamar Valley, so a uh, completely different area for wine. And they specialised in sparkling, and they were all delicious. We tried basically the full spectrum of Pinot Noir from sparkling through to yeah. actually red wine. Mm. It was delicious, and yeah. the guy there was so helpful and so knowledgeable, and we talked to him for like two hours <laughs> about wine and Tasmania. And it was great. It was they, amazing. They were very far in that direction, past those hills. And then we have come to stay with our friends John and Annalise up at Beauty Point, which has a spectacular view of the Tamar River right here behind us. Mm. On our drive so far, we haven't seen a better one, I don't think, so no. it was really nice to come here. Now we're off to explore whatever happens on day two because we still haven't got all that much planned ahead because mm. we're still flying by the seat of our pants. Yeah. It's a mystery to us and to you. <laughs> Should be fun. Let's go. We've come to the Narantapu National Park which is the First Nations name for this place. It was the Asbestos Ridge? Asbestos yes. Range? It's, uh, it's English name was Asbestos Ridge Range or something like that. I can see why they changed the name, but also it should probably be named its rightful First Nations name anyway. And it's quite a bit windy, but um, we're going to do a little walk here up to Badgerhead Lookout and see if we can spot some cliffs and some more of the Bass Strait. Fresh. It is a bit fresh. Pretty happy that we get to use our National Parks Pass again kind of uh, makes it worthwhile to purchase the two-month ticket. Yes, we grabbed one while we were at Mount Field National Park at Russell Falls and we've used it a couple of times so it turned out to be worth it. The Narantapu National Park. Asbestos Range? Horribly named. They must have found a bit of asbestos years ago and mined it for a while. It was the first park in Australia to revert back to its indigenous name. Yeah, is it the only one? This is a nice walk, it's sheltered from the wind. Uphill though. <laughs> Great for people with microphones. Really. You put a stop in it already. I cannot match your pace uphill, that's for sure. <sighs> Those carrying cameras must go left. Okay. Excuse me, miss. I don't see a camera on you. You better go right. I have a smartphone. Does that count? Oh yeah, that'll work. I spy a lookout. Oh yeah. Oh wow! So we heard it's meant to be a king tide, maybe in this area of Tasmania. The highest tide in 25 years. The beach we're currently looking at, we can see is definitely reaching the end, so you wouldn't even be able to walk along it, but maybe that's a common thing. What's the name of the beach we're looking at? Badger Beach. The waves are huge. Maybe it's always like this, but it's amazing. I think with the wind so hectic, they're just forming huge and rolling in for ages. It's pretty impressive to watch. I think we'll spend a little while here because it is amazing. Very windy out on the ledge. Next time on the Hasselwells. We've come to check out a bush mates. Coming up here first is not cheating and it won't help us a bit. Hmm. Anyone else feeling like we're in a Harry Potter movie right now? Really? Expelliarmus! Always stepping forward onto the next tyre. Don't stuff it up, come on! Red can only jump blue, blue can only jump red. That perhaps, and then that guy can jump that guy. Oh dear, this looks tricky. Oh no, we're back at the start. You're not allowed to do this part, sorry. What? Quick scratch a little W.O. at the start of that. It's the last Sunday of business. Maybe this whole place is one big maze. No one's going to be here tomorrow to get us out. You do the limbo while you're here.